Okay, in the last lesson we talked about using logical AND, which if you remember is the two ampersand characters. And we use that in an if statement in order to specify that we need more than one expression to evaluate to true before we will execute the if statement. For example, we could say if height is equal to 5 and width is equal to 10, then we want to run whatever's in this print this uh, block of code, in this case the printf statement. Now what if we want to run the block of code if either expression is true, but we don't necessarily need both expressions to be true? For that we use what is called the logical OR operator, which is um, two pipe bars like this. And this is logical OR right here. And the way this works is very similar to logical AND. The difference being only one expression needs to be true or non-zero, whereas logical AND requires both expressions to be non-zero. So if this is non-zero or if this is non-zero, then the if statement will be considered true and this will execute. Also, like logical AND, logical OR results in an integer of either 1 or 0 depending on the result of the operation. Here I've drawn out a simple table for you so that you can see the way this works. If you have a non-zero value, logical OR with another non-zero value, you get 1. In fact, the only way you get 0 is if both of the operands are 0. Now keep in mind that just as is the case with logical AND, only as many expressions as need to be evaluated are actually going to be checked. So if this is true, there's no reason to check this because we're looking at either of those expressions being true. So we don't need to check both if we know one is true. Let's take a look at an example. Okay, so here I am saying that if height is equal to 5 or width is equal to, and then I have a printf statement. Now what I want you to consider when I run this code is watch to see if this printf statement actually executes. Let's take a look. Now look at the result. We have if statement evaluated as true, which is what we put inside of the, the if statement. But notice that this printf statement did not execute. Why didn't it execute? Because this already evaluated to true, so there was no reason to check this. If this is confusing to you, imagine that in the middle of a day I say, if the sky is clear or, well, it doesn't matter what I say next. Why even listen to it? Since I used the word OR, then nothing further needs to be considered. The, ins the entire statement is now true. This is even the case if the next thing I say is utterly absurd. Consider this. If I said, if the sky is clear or pink unicorns are flying around the sun, then do this, well, it will be done. Why? Because the sky is blue. Whenever you use a conditional flow statement with OR, you must remember that the very first expression to evaluate as true causes the entire conditional flow statement to evaluate as true and any other expressions will not be evaluated except the minimum necessary to determine that the conditional flow statement is true from left to right. When you see the logical OR operator within an IF statement you can think of it as saying Evaluate the next expression only if the last expression was false. In other words, only if this was false. That is because if the last expression was true, then the whole statement is already considered true and there's no need to look further. Notice that this is the exact opposite of how the logical AND operator works. AND would say, evaluate the next expression only if the last one was true. Just as it is true with AND, you want to be strategic in your use of logical OR in a conditional flow statement. 
If it takes a great deal of computing power to determine one expression and very little to determine another expression, you should always place the least intense operation first. That way, if that evaluates as true, there's no need to spend additional resources trying to test a more complex expression. Also, remember to be mindful of which expressions will be executed and which will be ignored entirely. Alright, that concludes this lesson.